Forensic science reveals the chilling truth behind a mass grave in Peru. What initially seemed like a grisly sight turned out to be far grislier than anyone expected. Chiquito, northern Peru. Children playing at a vacant lot in this coastal town make a gruesome discovery. They stumble across a group of bones sticking out of the earth. I mean, if that's not the stuff of nightmares. Archaeologists are called to the ghastly scene and are horrified by what they discover. Now, can 21st century forensic analysis explain this horrific mass grave? Peru, 2011. The discovery of bones in a vacant lot sends shockwaves through the seaside town of Huanchiquito. But as further excavations get underway, the finds become even more disturbing. As they excavate the site, they reveal the skeletons of more than 140 children. This is a really odd burial site. Who were these people? To find out, pieces of cloth found wrapped around some of the bodies are sent for radiocarbon dating. They're shown to be over 500 years old. The age and location of the bones associate the site with the famous ancient Andean city of Chan Chan, part of the great Chimu civilization. The Chimu civilization dominated the north coast of Peru between the 10th and 15th century CE. They forged one of the largest empires in the ancient Andes. They absolutely dominated the region until the Inca came along and conquered them in the mid 15th century. At the gravesite, more and more small bodies are excavated. Samples of teeth and bones are sent for analysis. The results reveal the children belong to a narrow age group. The bodies are both male and female, and they range from about 5 to 14 years old. Archaeologists hope scientific tests can pinpoint the geographic origin of these children. They send tooth samples for isotope analysis. Differences in the chemical isotopes show that these children had varied diets, which suggests that they grew up in different places. It's possible the children were actually brought here from right across the Chimu Empire. But it's still unclear how these children perished. One bizarre clue could point to an explanation. Many of the skulls are stained bright red. This isn't blood. Could it be some sort of dye or paint? Analyzing the red pigment with a technique called mass spectrometry tells us what chemicals it's made of. And we see large amounts of mercury, which implies that this might be cinnabar. It's a red pigment. The presence of this ancient pigment could begin to explain the significance of the mass burial. The color red for many ancient societies of the Americas was the most sacred color often directly associated with water, which was so essential for food, tied to rain, tied to sustenance and fertility. Archaeologists also find that some of the children are wearing decorative headdresses. It leads to a shocking question. The evidence is building to suggest a communal ritual was going on here. Did this ritual end with mass death? To confirm the theory, Investigators must explain how these children died. As they examine the skeleton's torsos, they find disturbing evidence. There are visible cut marks to the sternum. It's the kind of incision that a modern-day thoracic surgeon might make. Many of the children have visible displacement or movement of the ribs, which suggests that the chests were cut open and the ribs were pulled apart to expose the heart. Everything seems to point to a chilling conclusion. With these types of injuries, there's little question, this was murder. As the wounds are studied more closely, there's further evidence to back up this theory. These cuts are clean. There's no evidence of false starts or incomplete cuts. They're expertly done. It just bears all the hallmarks of a ritual killing.
If this is true, the mass grave would rewrite history. This is the first Chimu site where child sacrifices have been studied. We've previously had little evidence that this was something they practiced. Could this really be the scene of a mass ritual killing of Chimu children? To investigate this shocking concept, they study the presentation of the bodies. All of the bodies are buried in the same layer of sand. Virtually all of them are at the same depth, and they're at close proximity to each other. This suggests that all of these burial pits were dug simultaneously, and that it was the aftermath of a single ritual killing event. Why were these children so ruthlessly sacrificed? As the team further examines the burial positions, they notice an intriguing pattern. Many of the children were facing the sea, which suggests that ideologically, this was something really important to pay a sort of respect and homage to the sea, the giver of life. Ritual sacrifice is usually associated with appeasing or negotiating with the gods. And we know one of the important Chimu gods was Ni, the god of the sea. So why did they think these gods were so angry? There are distinct layers around the children's graves. The top layer is a mix of mud and clay and gravel, but beneath that is a layer of clean sand. The uppermost stratigraphic layer reveals a vital clue. The top layer of mud is sheet wash. It was carried from higher ground by a lot of water, most likely from heavy rain. Some of the children are laid to rest on top of these muddy layers, which tells us that this ritual probably took place during a time of heavy rains and flooding. Could some environmental event have led to the ritual sacrifice of all these children? Peru's historical climate data reveals a possible explanation, the weather phenomenon known as El Nino. El Nino is a weather cycle found in the Pacific Ocean. It is one of the most important weather cycles on Earth. It's been known to make deserts bloom and plunge other areas into drought. El Nino would have resulted in heavy downpours, coastal flooding, rising sea temperatures, and the effects of these would have interrupted the Chimu's carefully constructed irrigation systems and coastal fisheries. The community would have been devastated, forcing its leaders to take action. Chimu priests and leaders may have organized the mass slaughter in order to convince the gods to stop the meteorological chaos. This has all the trappings of a phenomenon which is actually not so unusual in the ancient world. It's a people who were faced with trials and things they either didn't understand or were fearful of. And so they offered up their most valuable resource in an effort to appease the gods, their own children. Using modern forensic archeology, span Investigators have revealed the shocking truth behind the largest child sacrifice event in history. This mass sacrifice of children was done in an effort to appease the gods who had sent such bad weather, it actually threatened the survival of the Chimu civilization. A tragic tale of a community brought to its knees by the uncontrollable force of the weather.